Emma, are you ready to get married? No, you're getting married. What? <laughs> Sis? Well, I'm you, so happy for you. Are you ready to get married? I'm so ready to get married. Yeah. Jack? Yeah. You ready to get married today, buddy? Oh, no. I'm you. Vian, you ready to get married? I'm not getting married. You You're are. Not, what? I'm confused about what's happening today. Send the invitations. Check. Find a ring for Liz. Check. Find a suit and vegan shoes for Duncan. Check. Get a marriage license. Check. Make a party playlist. Check. Make a checklist. Check. Pick up the dessert. Check. Write our vows. Check. And that brings us to the night before the wedding, AKA the rehearsal dinner. Slightly, yeah. Slightly. We don't really call it like a rehearsal dinner. It's Why like does anybody had... call it a rehearsal dinner? Because it's like, it's the night before and that's when you're supposed to go and rehearse like the ceremony. Ah. <clears throat> so that's when you usually go to the venue Practice walking down the aisle, be like, this is when this is gonna happen, and this is when this is gonna happen, and this is when this person's gonna do that reading. So we didn't have to do much of that. We didn't have to do any of that. How are you feeling? Um, mostly excited for everybody to meet and have a fun supper. Uh -huh. uh, a little bit nervous. Why? I don't know. It wasn't weird. It's not weird until it's like, oh, now I have to call you my husband. Oh, you're nervous about the marriage thing? Yeah. Not the family's meeting thing? No. Uh, it'll be fine. What? Practice. Practice? Yeah. Practice what? Hey, husband. Hey, husband. Hey, wifey. Hey, this is Liz. Hi. My wife. <laughs> my legal property. <laughs> does See? that mean you're my legal property as well? Yes, it does. Nice. I was a little bit nervous because it was the first time that our families met. Yeah. After three years of us being together. Also, we picked an Ethiopian restaurant. It's vegan friendly, but we didn't really know if anybody else liked Ethiopian food. How do you feel about this, Dad? Here, wait. Get my good side. So, we've been taking this bread and making it into slime. We were the first inventor of the sponge slime. So, don't take our idea. That's my cousin Emma behind the camera. She thinks it's really cool that we have a YouTube show. Yeah. So everybody shout out to Emma. What up? What up, Emma? Our family's got along really well. And everybody liked the Ethiopian food. At least they said they did. Yeah. Hi, wife. Hi, husband. Does it still feel weird? My wife. <laughs> no, it better feel normal tomorrow. Okay. Because we're getting married. Yeah. Yeah. Better get used to it. There's no turning back. No, it's not. It's legally binding. Yeah. Next morning, day of our wedding, mm -hmm. I open the door to find a path of rose petals yeah. leading out the hallway. Yeah. They were put there, I found out later, by our upstairs neighbor. Nancy. Nancy. That's so nice. Wasn't that sweet? Hey, Jack, what are you wearing today? You're gonna go to summer camp? Mm -hmm. When? And. <laughs> 10 10. In 10 10? Yeah. Nice. Mm. What are you gonna do at summer camp? Do the butt. Do the butt? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's super cute. Yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty obsessed. Give us this It's really lovely. Yeah. Okay, how do you feel in each one? Um, I don't know. I was more concerned. The reason why I bought the backup dress because I was like, oh, it might be hot. Mm -hmm. So I want something more free. And mm -hmm. I was like, ooh, it's a little tighter mm -hmm. in the belly area. But now I'm like, oh. This one is or the no, other one? the other one. one. Uh-huh. I feel like, why not wear both? But... One for the ceremony, one for the reception. Yeah. And the then, two yeah. different dresses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Ooh. Yeah. This one for the ceremony and the other one for the party? No, no. vice versa. Vice versa. Oh. Okay. What do you think? Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get some flowers. It is 11.20, 11.10? 11.22. 11.22. Yeah. 
have just a little bit over an hour before we gotta get on the train. So we're gonna leave in like 20 minutes. Even with minutes. small scale weddings, like still a lot of moving pieces. A lot of moving pieces. A lot of people. I told you we shouldn't have invited anybody to the ceremony. Oh shush. I told you, Liz. Whatever. You can't help. This is a disaster. You get married today. Just wanted around like a hundred dollars with a boutonniere. Okay. Kind of like orangey. Um, I have a question. Do you have a steamer at the salon? That's not a problem at all. Um, I might ask to leave you with, I'm changing dresses after the park. Um, so can I leave the other dress with you? Boom. Beautiful. You happy? Yeah. Love it. All right, I will see you soon. Bye. Yeah. So Liz now is going to get your hair done. Yep. And I was home alone to get dressed. A note about my suit. I wanted to get a used one from Thrift, but we didn't have enough time really to find one that fits me. So we went to um, Lord & Taylor in Westchester. It was a very suburban American experience. We were helped out by this very nice guy named Harold. Shout out to Harold. And I tried on four or five different suits before I looked at the label and realized that they all were made out of wool, which being from an animal is not vegan without missing a beat. Harold rushed away and he brought back a uh, polyester suit, which I actually liked the cut of and the color of, and it fit me better than any of the wool suits. Also, it was Duncan's first suit ever. Yeah, which Liz likes to bring up. Yeah. <laughs> um, the guy that we went shopping with, he was like, oh, usually I buy the first suits for like 15-year-old boys. 15-year-old <laughs> boys? He yeah. said 12-year-old boys. Whatever. And then when it came to the shoes, the shoes. Um, I had seen this shoe seller at the vegetarian food festival last year called Wells Vegan Shoes, and he was from London, and he had like such great shoes, and I was like, oh, we should like see if he's going to be at Veg Food Fest this year, and he was. And we scoped out a bunch of shoes, and we found some lovely shoes Aren't from there. Aren't these nice? And you didn't have a belt, so we got a belt. It's way too big for me. I didn't even try it on until I was about to walk out the door and I had all this slack. So I just picked up a knife and cut a new hole in it. Sorry, Will. Look, do I look like a weightlifting champion? Um, no. <sighs> You understand what weightlifting is. <laughs> it's so funny to see my family on the subway. So we were about two stops away from my apartment, 20 minutes from where we needed to go, and then the train slowed to a crawl and then stopped. Excuse me. Signal trouble. Signal trouble? Yeah. I thought that we weren't gonna make it for uh -huh. a while because we were sitting there for 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, new train, moving a little faster now. We made it off the train! Uh, we finally see a light after sweaty people. Oh God, it smells so bad. So are you excited? I am excited. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. So the original plan was to get married at City Hall, but we scoped it out last week and it's very crowded and we didn't want to make our family wait for possibly two hours. So we had Liz's brother Luke ordained to uh, be able to get married anywhere if he's the minister. So we're on our way now to Washington Square Park. Don't you think it's a nice day to get married? Yeah. How about you? Yeah, yeah. totally. Me too. It was a beautiful day. There was a jazz band. They were filming an episode of the HBO TV show Divorce. <laughs> that was kind of ironic. No. I guess you. Can you believe this? No, I can't. Enjoying the heck out of it. Hello, hello. How cute we have. Hi, hi. Oh my gosh. Was this rehearsed? Yeah. Okay. This is your last moment of not being married. Oh my god, I'm having second thoughts oh, you about are? letting you ask me questions. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. After we took pictures, we just found a clear spot on the grass surrounded by sunbathers. There was a guy doing a glass ball routine like David Bowie from Labyrinth. 
and we were waiting around for a while because my mom and my cousin's wife Christine disappeared yeah. and we thought that they had lost the group and then we turned and there, there they are approaching oh my gosh with these two giant clusters of colorful balloons they just got them from free because they were done shooting with they them they got those from the divorce film set yeah oh that's funny well you guys have a dramatic entrance whoever picked those colors has no sense of oh, oh. 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 <laughs> ready? Ready. Ready? Everybody, if you don't know, this is Luke Parati, my brother. And he's officiating our wedding. Sorry. Extra pressure, no extra pressure. <laughs> we are gathered here today on this beautiful day in New York City because the line at City Hall was too long. <laughs> Duncan, do you take Liz to be your legally wedded wife? I do. Liz, do you take Duncan to be your legally wedded husband? I do. With a firm handshake and a smooch, please seal the legal contract. You guys have anything to say to the newlyweds? It's all downhill from here. We've got maybe three more months. And then... <laughs> I don't know. I don't have my phone. Sorry, one more time. Come on, jump higher than that. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was good. And that's we. A lot of people say, you know, because they get so wrapped up in the preparation and uh -huh. all the excitement of everybody coming into town uh -huh. and then all the anticipation and then it's finally happening, they barely remember their wedding day. No, I don't barely remember it. I remember everything really well. Uh huh. You yeah. feel like you were present? Yeah. Yeah. I think I was for the most part too. Yeah. I was, I was a little bit... There wasn't anything too much to stress about because there wasn't like a whole bank to do. There wasn't like crowds waiting on us. It was just like our family waiting on us. So it was all chill. Yeah. It was very chill. It was nice. I like that about you. What? You're chill. Chill. Here we are at the party place, Mother of Pearl. It is a tiki bar restaurant in the East Village. It's all vegan and they have crazy cocktails. And crazy food. And crazy food. First we had some tropical guacamole. Which was amazing. Kale Caesar salad. Drunken fried rice. Char soup buns with roasted mushroom and celery root, which were incredible. Pea and edamame dumplings. And the favorite of the day was this avocado and ricotta toast. And the ricotta was made from tofu. Mm, that's so good. The desserts were from this place called Vegan Treats in Pennsylvania. We got cupcakes, we got donuts, we got cake truffles, and we got cookies. And it was all amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Yes. That's my husband. I'm a wife. Hi. I'm a wife. I'm a wife. Hey, Dad. Hey, son, how are you? <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Thank you. And your wife. Whoever she may be. <laughs> right. Hey, Mom. Hi, Duncan. Do you have any advice for us as a married couple? I think you're off to a good start. Uh -huh. I think you maybe better give the rest of us advice. Okay. okay. Gray, how'd you like the food? The food is amazing. The food is really, really, really good. And now you've got some... I have a cupcake. <laughs> and, a, and a cookie. <laughs> the avocado, like, little toast with the, with the um, tofu. 
so good. Oh my god, it was so good. I ate like five of them. Alright, the party is over and we are trying Hi, to figure out how to get all these people out to Brooklyn for the after party. So get as many as we can in a vehicle. Four. Next four. How many seats you got? Get out! Get out your butt! Yeah, get out your butt! And we sit here for another minute. <laughs> now it's awkward. Now it's awkward. <laughs> found that the hallway was decorated with streamers and balloons. Yeah, that was crazy. By the girls next door. Sydney and Eden and their parents, Jason and Dara, and Heidi helped out too. Yeah, and that was really sweet. Yeah, it was the best. These are good luck streamers because they're streamers from our wedding. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. We were excited to pass them down, not even a year later. So one of the traditions that people do on their wedding day is they save the top of their cake um, and freeze it for a year and then eat it on their one year anniversary. We didn't have a cake. No, we had a bunch of random desserts. But my stepmom, Lisa, was really nice and saved us some of the desserts, which we're supposed to eat a year later. A year, yeah. yeah. Um, but I was just thinking since they're taking up space in the freezer, we could maybe eat them now. Okay. Let's just take a look at them. Yeah. <laughs> so they've been smooshed a little bit. Not the most appealing. To <laughs> but I'm sure they're still edible. What'd you get? Is that and I think that's peanut butter? The peanut butter one. Yeah. Yeah, those, those were the hit. Oh, they smell so good. Cupcakes for breakfast. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I think I want to save them. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at you being all traditional. Let's do a video on our anniversary uh -huh. and eat these. Okay. Sound good? Sure. Okay. Thank you for a great day. Thank you, too. Thanks for being my wife. Thanks for being my hubby. Love you. Love you, too.